So I uh, go to a good friend of mine's restaurant, Paul DeFranco. He's uh, he's Italian, and uh, I'm half Italian, half British, and um, and uh, all American. <laughs> and uh, well, I appreciate some good Italian cooking. And uh, so I go to my friend uh, Paul DeFranco's restaurant. He actually had a uh, an Italian sports car. He was trying to get vanity plates, uh, Florida vanity plates, uh, uh, put on them, and he wanted to say PD1. And uh, they wouldn't let him do it uh, because I, I guess there was some confusion there. With they thought it might be confused with uh, police department one, so uh, they didn't let him get that. So he had to change it and get uh, different vanity plates. But anyway, Paul DeFranco, he's got a great restaurant. It was his family's restaurant, and um, and now he kind of runs it. And it's so funny because I go there all the time and I sit down and I get it. He gives me a menu, but I order the same thing all the time. And um, you know, I look at the menu and glance over it, kind of look at some of the items, you know, appreciate it and all, and hand a menu to them. Yes, I'll have the uh, veal parmesan. Same thing all the time. And uh, every now and then uh, I'll mix it up and uh, get tiramisu uh, for uh, dessert. Uh, that's uh, fantastic. But I go into uh, uh, Paul's restaurant, I'm sitting there and it's normally a busy time. And I'm looking around and it's not very busy. And uh, I get a menu, and I'm looking at it, and <laughs> I notice he kind of changed the prices. Uh, yeah, prices a little bit higher. And, uh, you know, I order my food, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking to uh, Paul, and uh, I said, you know, can't help but to notice that uh, your restaurant maybe isn't as busy as it used to be, and uh, your prices are a little bit higher. It looks like you've done some adjustment for that. Is that because of the... Uh, you know the the prices of things cost of you know fuel and cost of food and this and he's like no he said it's a matter a simple supply and demand he said you know as a restaurant you can feed the masses for one price or you uh, once you start getting to a point where people start you know you know going out the door waiting he says a smart business person will at that point raise their prices he says that's what I've done he said, I make just as much money now, if not a little bit more, and we work a lot less. And I was like, tell me more. He said, well, before a whole lot of people would come, you know, I had my prices set it a certain way. He says, but, uh, and he said, his staff was running around crazy. You know, very, very busy place. Um, had to hire extra people on some of his peak times. Well, he said, uh, now, what he's done is he's raised his price. Some of the people there are maybe a little bit more budget conscious. They don't go there anymore. Uh, they still maybe will go every now and then, but definitely not to the degree that they had before. And he says, so there's less people coming in the door, but he's making just as much money because it's, you know, the less people, but they're paying more, you know, per, per dining. He says... So we work less and we get paid just as much. Can't beat it. Gotta love capitalism. And uh, kind of got me wondering, kind of got me thinking a little bit. Now I thought that was just genius economics uh, right there. Good, you know, good for him, smart guy. But uh, I started thinking about my videos. And uh, you know, sometimes I feel that since my videos aren't that good, I have to sometimes make up for quality in quantity. And so, uh, I'll crank out a lot of small videos. Uh, but then I started to notice that there's a lot of people out there who are have a lot fewer videos than I do and have a lot more subscribers and, and viewers. And what I end up finding out through talking around is they do a lot more kind of like promotion. Um, so they make less videos and they get more subscribers because they're taking more days and using them as promotion. Well, <laughs> it's kind of like getting working less and getting paid more. You know, though I'm not getting paid. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, I enjoy putting it out. But I think that maybe I won't stress about it. Most of the time, you know, I, I just enjoy it. But every now and then, I kind of think, you know, I, I kind of get busy. I don't have a chance to make a video. I kind of stress about it a little bit. Well, I need to make one. Well, you know, maybe what I'm going to do instead of putting out a video every... Uh, Every couple of days, every two or three days, maybe most every four days, 
except for that one time where it was like five or six days because uh, the computer and uh, the, the, the YouTube was acting up and uh, had some problems with that. But um, maybe I'll make it every five days and just do more promotion. Uh, so more viewers, less work. But, but I enjoy it. We shall see. You shall see because you'll see how it rolls out. But any which way, I enjoy it and I'll be around. So uh, take care of each other. See you around. Bye now.